Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Recha Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside Him. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who've taught us His truth, and honor the citations to the elect. So, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. I'm going to entitle this. He's really trying it, you know, he's really trying it, he's really attempting it, and I'm speaking about the he is the so-called white man, these elites, these Edomites who think that they're going to rule for all eternity, all right, and what's he trying? He's trying to roll in his N dot W dot O. Okay, and the witch, he will be the supreme power. He'll be God over you, a God over you. As he, you know, as it's exposed in Second Thessalonians, the second chapter. All right. And I believe the third verse. So I'm going to get into this news article and then I'm going to get into the scriptures. All right. But uh, real quick, so this is all, it's all uh, a scheme, man. It's all a, a charade, if that's the correct word. It's all bullshit to bring in his NWO. And that's what these people don't understand. These people that actually believe that this thing is going on. You don't even know what, you don't even know what's going on. All right. And us through the Holy Spirit, the understanding of these scriptures and uh, whistleblowers of their own people, their own doctors and so forth, their own nurses. It's all an, an accumulation of us seeing his bullshit. You know, so let me read this article and then I'm going to get into the scriptures. It says NYC workers have until Friday to get C, the CV. Or be put on leave. Now I want to get one real interesting part out of this article. But I'll read it up to it. It says New York City CV requirement for all city workers takes effect on Friday afternoon, which is today. And officials say there's still a share of the roster that still haven't received a punch. City workers have until 5 p.m. Friday to receive at, at least their first V if they don't. They will be placed on leave starting this Monday. If blank employees don't comply, it could lead to small manpower shortages across city sectors, including the police and fire departments and sanitation workers. So these are the workers that have to get um, punched by 5 p.m. today, which... So, so, so the pressure's on, you know what I'm saying? The pressure's on for, ultimately the pressure is on for those that doesn't have the truth. The pressure is on for those that don't have the knowledge and wisdom and the strength of salvation. But when you have the knowledge and wisdom and strength of salvation, there's really no pressure. There's really no pressure, man. Because if you think about it, you got to 5 p.m. today, people on the ropes. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't want to do it. I Look, what are you talking about, man? We ain't doing it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? There's no pressure. You ain't going to back me into a corner. You ain't going to have me up against the ropes. I'm not doing it, period. I'm never doing it. Never. No matter what the fuck you say. All right? So when you got that mindset, there's no pressure. Oh, I'm not going to be able to eat. I'm going to take care of my family. You know? Oh, I'm going to lose my job. I don't know how I'm going to pay my... That's when it's pressure. When you're in that mindset, now what? The pressure is on you. When you're in my mindset, I don't give a damn. First and foremost, because Yahweh Bashima Shai going to cover me. Yahweh Bashima Shai going to protect me. I know that, man. Through faith. I believe that. I believe that through faith, man. I have faith. For one. Okay? And for two, why would I... 
why would I let you be a, a, a power over me, knowing all my thoughts through the through the power of, that you that these devils will get through the RFID chip, which is the mark. You know, according to the Book of Revelation, we all know what chapter and verse, but maybe that's even a a buzzword now, right? Why would I let you? Why would I let this pink? Yo, oh, oh my goodness, bro, I'm trying to chill. But why would I let this guy? Be a god over me, knowing all my thoughts, putting money in, and 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 automatically putting money in into uh my my chip or taking money out whenever he so sees fit. Bugging, straight bugging. Anyway, it says some sanitation workers skipped trash pickups this week as a protest against the mandate. Right, let me get to that point I was talking about before. This is it right here. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio said Thursday that he'll order he'll order mandatory overtime and extended shift to make sure any staff shortages don't affect critical services. See that? So now how long you think that's gonna last? You know? What would you do if you was if all of a sudden, it was, it's been made mandatory that I have to work extended hours. Right now, I already work. Let's use yourself for an example. Right now, me and myself, I already work like 10 to 10. I work two, I work three 12-hour shifts, and I'm off for the rest of the week. Well, I got another job. But anyway, this is not what about neither here nor there. The point is, I can't imagine me working from 10 to 10 to now he's saying, oh, you got to work from 10 to uh, 4 p.m. Every single um for for uh, uh five days a week now. Like what? People got families, man. People got uh uh, uh parents that they got to take care of, kids that they got to take care of. People, uh, you're gonna make them slave to their job now. How long do you think that's gonna last? So somebody that's smart, what he's gonna do? He's gonna save up that money. He might do it for a month. All right, look, I got to buckle down. I got to do this for three months straight. And then he's going to save up all that money. And then he's going to freaking quit. Which is exactly what this devil wants. That's exactly what he wants. All while looking like the good guy. This is exactly what he wants. He wants these people to quit. He wants to make it hard on them. He wants people to quit their jobs due to the punch. And then he wants people to quit their job due to exhaustion. So that what? So that he could bring in his national guard, man. So that first off, before he just brings it in, all hell's gonna break loose. He wants all hell to break loose first, man. So let me keep reading. Because my job is to keep people safe. My employees and 8.8 .8 million people, Blasio told reporters. Until we defeat C, people are not safe. If we don't stop C, New Yorkers will die. We must, must stop C. And the way to do that is V. And that must include our public employees. So you see how he makes himself look like he's such of a good guy. How he's such of a caring guy. That's just looking out for the public. And he's begging us to do the right thing to keep everybody safe. Which is to take his bullshit V. Which is complete poison. See? So he is actually attempting. He is, in a, he is f finally attempting to roll out his n.w.o he is attempting it now as we speak that's how we know that this is the end you know he's literally making the moves i love to read all these comments 31 comments here let me get into the scriptures so um let me get the book of uh Psalm chapter 64, verse, um, let me start at verse 2, because you can start at the top real quick. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, which this right now, so I can, all right, con, so yeah, this is all by design, man, you know, and it says, so hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, which this applies to the so-called white man now, man. Okay, he is he is the wicked. You got you got people that are wicked. Two thirds of wrong people that are wicked. 
But the wicked is the so-called white man, these elites. You know, they're shriveled, old, disgusting, wicked men. And their end goal is to have you. Um, and it's a shame. It's a shame because we can't even really speak to warn the people anymore. Without setting off buzzwords to get strikes. But that's OK at the same time. That's OK, because. The scriptures already speak upon the famine of the word. You know. And the scriptures speak upon how he's not going to get away with this. With, with He's not going to be able to fulfill his new world order, which I'm going to get that scripture. Right. So it says, yeah, but the secret counsel of the wicked, the secret counsel of the wicked. Right. Let me take that and run with it real quick. The secret counsel. Of the wicked, because they have a secret counsel. They have they actually have a secret council, man. They have secret goals, secret agendas that they want to achieve. And part of it is right here. Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. Except there come a falling away first. Yeah. The day of what? Uh, uh, the Lord's return. The day of the uh, uh, this place being destroyed. The day uh, 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 of our salvation is not going to come except there come a falling away first. So, yeah, we had to fall as a people first. The epitome of that is the movie Roots. When he got his name whipped out of him. That was a, that, that, that's our story, man. Except we got the Hebrew whipped out of us. We got our culture, our power, everything. We got it whipped out of us. That was the falling away. But we got it back through the spring party, Al Bashim Al Shai, dealing with uh, our, our elders, elder, uh, Abba Bivens, you know, um, waking up to this truth and realizing and getting the knowledge that we are the Israelites, man. And now, and now look how far we've come since then. So the falling away came, but the Valley of the Dry Bones came is, 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 uh, is living out as well. We're living that out as well. It says in that, but in the same token, it says in that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So during the same time as the Valley of the Dry Bones, us getting our nationality back is the same time that this guy is being exposed for being wicked. His plans are being exposed. Okay, all of his wickedness is being exposed. How the Most High hates him is being exposed. He's fully being exposed, man. The man of sin is the so-called white man. He's clean contrary to the scriptures. All the scriptures in the Bible, the so-called white man pushes the exact opposite. He is the man of sin. At least these other nations, they, they get some things right. The so-called white man gets nothing right. Nothing right in the scriptures. He gets nothing right, man. I could I could go to a random law right now in the Bible and I and I guarantee the so called white man will do the exact opposite of what it says. You know? It says, Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the most high or that is worshipped, so that he as the most high sitteth in the temple of the most high, showing himself that he is the most high. See, so this is a secret council right here, man. This is part of his secret council. He wants to show himself that he's the most high. Now, what's some of the things? Really, you can't name all the things. But what's like a, a, a couple of things that that makes the most high the most high? For one, he knows all our thoughts. Let me get let me get that scripture in the book of. um. In the book of Acts, um, uh, Salaki, let me get this real quick. Here it is, right here. Uh, Acts 1 and 24. And they prayed and said, Thou Lord, which knowest the hearts of all men, 
show whether of these two who now has chosen. So see, the point is, they said that the Lord knows the hearts of all men. The heart meaning what? Your mind. The Lord knows your mind and your spirit, whether you're sincere, whether you're humble, whether you're uh, evil, whether you got ulterior motives. The Lord knows it, man. Furthermore, the Lord knows your mind and he knows your thoughts. Well, guess what? The so quiet man, he'll be able to have that power. This is why the Lord is going to return and jack his ass up. This is why the Lord is going to return and not allow him to fulfill this N W this uh, N dot W dot O because he'll be he'll really be as a, as the most high. The most high knows all the thoughts of men. The most high knows all the hearts, of, knows the hearts of all men. But guess what? This so quiet man, if he if he puts that, if he's able to fulfill his plan, which he is attempting it as we speak through these mandates, man. He, you leave it up to him. He's gonna kill off all the people, right? That isn't down with his uh, that isn't down with his plan, and the rest of them is gonna get corrupted. They're gonna get Rev thirteen and sixteen, and through that he'll be able to read your thoughts. Look it up yourself if you don't believe me. You know. If you don't believe us, look it up yourself. They're working on the R.F.I. Uh, uh, D chips. They're working on them right now, and and they're saying that um it'll be able to read your mind straight up. I read it. I read it with my own damn eyes. You know, and furthermore, they 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 make TV shows on it. The first episode of Black Mirror, through that damn chip, he was able to re rewind his uh, memory and see where was you at. Did you did you cheat on me or not? Rewind back to Friday night. You know, these this is the power that this devil is going to be able to have. This is the power that this devil wants. It's not about no oh it's a C pen, a pen is out here. We need people. No, this is just the Trojan horse. To this pink bastard thinking that he's going to be able to fulfill this. So let's get the scriptures speaking about how he's going to come close to it. But he won't ultimately. He won't uh, be able to. Um, what's that? Job. No, it's not Job. Um, Job 21. I believe is one of them. Um. All right, let me just search it up. This devil is out of his mind, boy. He wants all hell to break loose, man. He wants you to come running to him as full speed, as fast as you can, down to your nearest concentration camp. I mean, down to your nearest FEMA camp where he's going to have chips for you. And he's going to chip everybody down there. And then ultimately, in his mind, he's going to, Round you up on buses and, and drive you into them smart cities, man. Where he, where he can be, where he can be your complete god. Knowing your thoughts, knowing where you at at all times, you know. Taking money from you whenever he sees fit, and Lord knows what else. This is Job five and twelve. He dis disappoint the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. All right. You will not be able to perform that enterprise, man. The enterprise going into your N dot W dot O. Right? And what's the precept to go with that? Uh, Job 20 and 23. When he's about to fill his belly, see? When he's about to fill his belly, when you're about to fulfill that NWO, all hell's breaking loose just like you wanted. They're running down to the FEMA camps just like you wanted. You're starting to... Put the uh, R dot F dot I dot D chips in them like you want it. You know, the men of the Lord, you grabbing some of them up, beheading them like you want it. Some of them is on the run like you want it. Right. Everything is going as planned. So when you finally think, oh, man, this is it. Oh, man, let's go. The Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, upon your dumb ass. The Lord going to return and crack your ass, man. You know? 
And the Lord is going to cause the thermonuclear missiles to come and bombard this place. And then he's going to come and crack the rest of your asses, man. Uh, oh, okay, you see? And he's going to have his son, Yahweh Shai, tear your asses up, boy. And then when Yahweh Shai is done destroying y'all, he's going to put the power upon us to start hunting y'all down, man. It says, it shall rain it upon him while he is eating. See? And the culture continue to read on. So, miss me with all this bullshit. All right? Believing in this bull crap that this guy got. That's, that this guy's feeding you. Because you have no clue what's really going on. So, Lord willing, man, is edifying. And I'm going to say Shalom.